Severe storms ripping through Alabama last night, leaving at least two people dead, including a child. One other person has been hospitalized. The two fatalities are being reported in Montgomery County along with severe damage. The National Weather Service has sent two teams to determine if tornadoes are to blame and how powerful they measured. Now that same storm system spawning at least one tornado in the Fruitdale community in Washington County. A high school there was heavily damaged. NBC 15's Ashley Knight was there this morning. Widespread damage in parts of Fruitdale. Well, I, I, I knew it was going to be bad from the calls that I were getting. I've been working these things for many years and uh, I, I've seen worse. Hopeful words from Washington County Sheriff Richard Stringer. And we're just so fortunate not to have any injuries. So far as I know right now, we've had no injuries in the county. The Ag building here at Fruitdale High School sustained a lot of damage. You can see to their roof and their siding. They just had the roof replaced after Hurricane Zeta in 2020. Obviously, they're going to have to replace a lot more. A table, a saw table is now on the outside. You can see insulation just draped everywhere. The siding wound up in nearby trees. And speaking of trees, that's also where we found a lot of power lines. Once the sun came up, crews started right in, working to get power back up as soon as possible. We've had a path of this same kind of destruction. I'm going to guess 10 miles across the center of the county from the west to the east. A lot of homes damaged, a lot of roads closed right now, but we're in the process of getting, op getting them open. Now it's just a matter of cleanup. This Baptist area was found across the street from its church and in the front yard of a home being renovated by Pastor Buddy Jones. All this stuff that you see is from the neighboring property around here because I didn't have nothing in my front yard yesterday. With several power lines down, the sheriff estimates it'll be a few days before power is back up and running. We spoke with resident Paul Brown, who hunkered down inside his home as the storm passed. It was rough. I thought the old house was going to leave, but it didn't. Uh, got a lot of trees down, outbuildings tore up. Uh, it's just a bad storm. The CM Biomass plant also saw damage to their roof. The company just bought the plant the beginning of November. They estimate it'll take about two weeks before they're back open. In Washington County, Ashley Knight, NBC 15 News. 12 miles east of Fruitdale, the National Weather Service confirms an EF2 tornado touched down in Tibby. The small unincorporated community in Washington County sustained major damage. NBC 15's Lisa Labrignac continues our team coverage. Lisa, a handful of homes were hit hard there. And now they're left to pick up the pieces, but they're not doing it alone. Roofs off, ceilings gone. Uh, it's just a mess. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I've got insulation everywhere, uh, ceiling everywhere, um, the trees down, cars tree on top of my car. Um, it's just a total mess. Rose Parnell rode out the storm like many others who live along Boyd Willie Parnell Road in Tibby. Went to the bathroom. About five minutes later, my roof came off. This is what Brantley Coker's house looks like now. Some of that insulation is tangled in trees down the road. A woman living in another home down the street, cleaning out her kitchen with help from her family and friends. Her roof torn off by that EF2 tornado as well, while they all were hiding inside this closet, damaging almost everything, like her carpet. Uh, yeah, it's devastating. We, my daughter texted me and told me the tornado was coming, so I got in the bathroom and hunkered down there and heard it coming. Parnell taking everything in with her family by her side. It looks worse than it sounded. Brantley Coker is doing the same thing. And this is a tight knit community. So immediately this morning when the sun came up, everyone got together and got to work. Reporting in Tibby, Lisa Lebrunyak, NBC 15 News. The severe storms impacted just about the entire state of Alabama. Now check out this video from Muscle Shoals. Where Tanya Baker filmed this video from a carport. You can see the rain came down in sheets and high wind sucked out a pair of chairs and tossed them around like they were just sticks. National Weather Service confirming an EF1 tornado came through Greene County near Tuscaloosa. Winds there ripped the roof completely off the Sagewood apartment complex. At least 16 units are believed to be a total loss. 
The people who are displaced spent the night at a local community center, and it's unclear what's in store for those residents moving forward. Mississippi was also impacted. This is video from Lowndes County where a tree fell through the mobile home of Mary Perkins virtually slicing it in half. Now, luckily, no one was hurt. She says the storm sounded like a train coming through and only hopes she can get a new home soon. The storm system may have also spawned a tornado in Clark County. Someone spotted what appears to be a funnel cloud looming over the city of Jackson there. Heavy rain and hail also pelted the area. So far, we've received no reports of any tornado touchdowns there. Well, once the storms moved through Alabama, they continued into the Florida Panhandle, where they continued to be a problem for folks there. In Escambia County, a corporate was blown down at a home on Paul Line Street in the Cantonment area. Now, there are no reports of any injuries. A vehicle was trapped in flood water under Graffiti Bridge in Pensacola. It doesn't appear that anyone was injured there. So the rain has moved out, and now it looks like the cold is about to move back in.